Hey guys. Um, so, quite a few things have happened in the market. Um, over the past couple of weeks, we've had the LZR mod come out. And for those of you who follow my channel, quite clearly, this is fantastic. It's really, really good. However, something else interesting happened. Ready-Made RC were inspired by the LZR mod, and they came up with something slightly different. It's the Ready-Made RC Long Range mod. Now, they've also, it's kind of, it's a 3D printed add-on for your goggles, and they've been kind enough to release the files on Thingiverse. I'll pop a link in the description below. But what's quite interesting, you can see, it's a very similar result to that. Now, which is better? <laughs> you know, I, I figure the easiest way is for me to give you a little rundown. Um, now, on the LZR front, you know, quite simply, the build quality of this is fantastic. These antennas are utterly rock solid. You can't move them, they held on well. You got a metal bracket holding everything on, you got nice little thumb screws. Um, it's really, really good. But probably the biggest negative of it would be that in order to change, you know, you can't just kind of go along and change the antennas on the end. They all bolted to the device. So you have to undo all of this. It, it, you know, it's not that big a job, but it's probably a five minute effort. Um, it depends if you value your five minutes, but these are fantastic. You know, the other part that's maybe a bit of a downside, they're quite heavy. You know, the two LZR antennas are heavy, and whilst you can go a hell of a long way, you, I, I kind of feel like I'm wearing box goggles again with that kind of weight. Whereas normally with fat sharks, you don't have that feeling. Now, come along to the ready-made RC ones, and oh my God, this, this is light. I actually can't feel the weight of this, it's so light. Now that's good. Now, you also kind of, you get far more scope to change antennas. And, and I can actually show you here very quickly how quickly I can do that. I can undo one of these crosshairs and just snap on a lollipop. And there you go. You know, that, that's the end of it. Mind you, it looks a bit funny like that, but it's quick and easy. So it's maybe a bit more suited to people who want to just jump in and, and fly and are constantly changing between long range and short range. I'm actually just undoing those antennas there and you can actually see better what this mod looks like. It's kind of, it's a, it's a TPU um, printout which holds on two 10 centimeter pigtails, this extension, and it also wraps around and screws in here. So it's, it's quite firm. You know, it doesn't go anywhere easily. And then um, we can obviously pop these little antennas on. Now, <sighs> I've got to be honest, I have not flown with these yet, but I do expect good results. These, these True RC crosshairs are absolutely fantastic. You know, when it comes to using rapid fire, they're, they're really, really good. And to date, I've only been able to use a lollipop plus the crosshair because I couldn't fit them both onto here. You know, so that hasn't quite worked, but with this, I'm talking potentially 300 odd degrees of coverage. Now, <laughs> I'm sure that I'm probably like a lot of you. When you go fly, you seldom go stand in the center of the field. You have a tendency to stand to the side of wherever you fly and then fly into the area. And certainly at our regular flying sites, that's very much what happens. That actually has now just given me something which I can really get the penetration through trees, scrub, buildings, whatever they are, while standing to the side. And, and actually, even though it's 300 degrees of coverage, it's not like the signal stops directly behind you. You know, the other day I did a test with these ones here, and I was about 150 meters behind me. I had a building between me, like two buildings between me, and I still had a picture. So you've got quite a long way behind that you can go. So don't ever feel that you've got no signal behind you. It's just not as far. So, you know, quite simply, they're both very, very good. And I'd be hard pressed to tell you which one I prefer completely. You know, right now I feel like I might be favoring this, but um, 
the reasons would be purely because it's light um, and kind of does the job. I like the fact that it moves the load away from the module and up onto the CS. So, you know, you, you knock your antennas and it just gets a bit of flex. You know, not a problem. You know, at least you haven't banged the SMA off on you. You know, to be fair, that can't actually happen on here anyway because it's so firm. But that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, it's it's a good fix all around, and I think thanks Ready Made RC for releasing the files for it because it's certainly you know knowing myself, I, it's I probably would have just redesigned it and worked it myself, and I guess you guys probably knew that would happen. You know, someone would have redesigned it, so you might as well release it. Um, but it's quite neat. Um, I think I'm going to fly with these quite a bit and see how it actually performs. But my gut feeling is with this and this mod, I'll probably pick up these more for my go-to flying on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, oh, and then the one last thing, the only negative I've found really about this arrangement, it's not quite wide enough to take the um, LZR antennas. So, you know, don't turn around and assume you can get away with printing one of these and putting the LZR antennas on, it's not going to work because the actual design file doesn't go out far enough. And if I'm honest, because it's TPU, I think if you went out any further to create the space, you'd end up with these things flopping around all over the place. So really, these do suit lightweight crosshairs and maybe a, a dipole if you wanted or something like that. But um, yeah, fantastic. I will be flying with these a little bit later. We'll see how it goes. Cheers, guys.